in the second chapter of ande oedipus titled the body without organs deluse and gutari delves into the clash between desiring machines and the body without organs focusing on their relationship the body without organs feels uneasy and resistant to machines imagining larvae and worms under its organs this resistance is called primary repression where the body without organs repels desiring machines rather than opposing them actively the paranoid machine emerges from the conflict between desiring machines as production process and the body without organs as non productive state it is an anonymous machine with a non differentiated surface resulting from the relationship between desiring machines and the body without organs when the latter cannot stand them any more to grasp the body without organs as impact on the process the text compares desiring production to social production this comparison does not draw conclusions about their nature but points out that social production involves an unproductive attitude coupled with the process and a full body acting as a socius like the earth a tyrant's body or capital capital the body without organs of capitalists is not just money but also produces surplus value spreading out like the body without organs and making machines produce surplus value while embedding itself as fixed capital Mach- production does not just happen and stay that way it gets recorded and reproduced in a way that looks like it is always moving forward This recording follows a rule called connective synthesis but when the connections between machines and the body without organs change they follow a different rule it is like machines attaching themselves to the body without organs at different points creating a network of new connections that make the surface look like a grid people with schizophrenia who often have very little to their name create their own world of responses and answers to things around them they use a method called disjunctive synthesis to record things which overlaps with how things are made extending the process of making into the process of recording scribber a famous case in psychology had a peculiar relationship with god because of how he divided things up in his mind he split things into earlier and later empires superior and inferior gods this way of thinking is a big part of his delusions which freud studied closely freud believed that these kinds of split thoughts come from a more basic mental material similar to the idea of oedipus in the oedipus story a son kills his father and marries his mother freud thought this story played a big role in people's minds even those with schizophrenia but the truth might be that these ideas are more about how society works than about individual minds people with schizophrenia are often questioned and judged based on what is considered normal just like a character named moloy in a book who gets questioned by a policeman but sometimes they push back against these questions and make their own rules psychoanalysis a type of therapy often focuses on this idea of oedipus but it is not always helpful for understanding people with schizophrenia psychoanalysts say we need to find the root of scribbers delusions in his family but that might not be the whole story sometimes people with schizophrenia just want to be left alone or play by their own rules the body without organs is like a rebellion against the idea that everything comes from our parents people with schizophrenia have their own way of making sense of things which does not always match up with what society says is normal their way of thinking is fluid and flexible like a code that is always changing adolf olfi an artist with schizophrenia drew intricate pictures of machines and systems showing how they work together his explanations for these drawings changed a lot but they were all based on how he saw things in his mind sometimes his drawings even showed signs of collapse or disaster reflecting his unstable thoughts 
even though machines might attach themselves to the body without organs it remains flexible and slippery things like sunlight and even tiny sperm cells can stick to it and be recorded on its surface everything that happens from god's divisions to copulations gets recorded on this surface like a lion's mane full of fleas in this section delus and gutari explores how people with schizophrenia see the world differently and create their own rules for understanding it they do not always fit into society's ideas of what is normal but that does not mean their way of thinking is wrong